Well, the Dubai-based retail design and production company Alpha Nero are bringing many more innovative ideas to stand out in the market. Uh, they've been leaders for some time with so much experience in shop fitting and retail merchandising. And it's great to be able to welcome back in the studio Simon Hacker, the founder and managing partner, and Richard Payne, the QHSE manager at Alpha Nero. Uh, very much welcome to you, gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming in again. Well, thank you so much for having us again. Uh, Glad yeah, to yeah, see you guys. Thank you so much. It, it's great to have you here. Uh, Simon, to you first of all, Alpha Nero. Nero, um, this is great. You've been able to uh, be commended for your commitment to sustainability, environmental responsibility. Um, it, it's something that's that's brands are very proud of. But specifically, what does it mean, and how do you uh, earn something to be commended like that? So look, um, you know, we we set it up the business back in 2014, so we have some sort of uh, 10 years experience right now in this field, and gradually we started to understand what the impact on the environment over the materials, over sourcing, over the transformation process and so on and we just say okay we have to find a solution to reduce our carbon footprint what can we do so we started to work on different solutions on software and we're in a position right now where we can really measure our carbon emission mm -hmm. which is great which is something that no one else can really do in this business nor in any other industry so that's very disruptive and we came to our customers they're just telling explaining them the whole process and how we uh, intend to reduce drastically our carbon emissions well, this is interesting you know you spoke about a software and I'll, I'll pose this question to Richard yeah so this carbon reporting software and you know which which measures your carbon output how does it work you know and and how does it actually significantly help you understand uh, that how how lower your carbon emissions have to be in that case. So basically, we we've developed this software because we saw a need for it. Mm -hmm. We tried to use um, software that was already out there in the market, but for the manufacturing industry, um, the way it's split down, the scope three emissions, which are um, very much related to material consumption, mm -hmm. very very difficult to track, and it makes it very very challenging to gather the data needed to okay. give a realistic picture. So we developed this um, this software in order to pull the data very, very simply from other softwares that we already have. Mm -hmm. Once then we know the materials that are harmful to the environment, we can offer our clients alternative solutions. Interesting. Different, um, obviously we have our own different manufacturing practices, but we can really pinpoint all the way down the value stream where the issues are mm -hmm. and give give our customers that that really valuable insight so they can make informed choices. So you've been working and collaborating with uh, many luxury brands. That's right. Dubai's so competitive when it comes to that luxury to be able to stand out, to make noise. Um, how are you guys able to remain competitive? What is it that you do to help brands stand out? Look, I think it's about different things. Obviously, the quality of the execution of the boutiques and, and uh, fixtures that we're manufacturing, for sure. Uh, the quality of the project management as well, the sort of communications that we implement and the trust that we built with our customers years after years. Yeah. Um, and, and eventually, now we're in a position where, like I was saying, like we've been here for 10 years. Uh, we're expanding. We have a new factory in Dubai coming up. We're so happy. Uh, 10,000 square meter, that's a huge setup. Wow. So we're going to be able to really, like, literally rebuild the stores before installing them in the UAE, but also uh, in the GCC in general, which is where we install project mainly. Mm -hmm. And we also uh, um, opened just recently a, a factory in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh. So, you know, we're trying to be pretty much everywhere and and develop more and more project to our customers. Oh, Simon, this is interesting, you know, having, having such a massive our, you know, place to uh, get your fit outs done. Uh, first thought that comes to my mind is that such a huge place you could probably c carry a bat and a ball and play some cricket over there I'd love to do that honestly <laughs> come over come on we're gonna play we have a huge see, space for that see there you go now that, that's probably one of the reasons <laughs> now why, we talk right <laughs> yeah and now we're talking and probably one of the reasons why your company has also been recognized as a great place to work you know what are the initiatives that you guys take at your place so, so that you know people are happy who are working there and probably are looking out to work there more Look, I think from the very beginning, uh, and, and I would love Richard also to have a word on this because he can give me the other side uh, in, in terms of uh, communication, but uh, my point was always to build a company where people are happy, where they're empowered, where they're mm -hmm. free to express whatever they want, and we always keep the door open. There is no such a thing where the management is an office and no one can come and look right. at the door. So first of, thing would be, first of all would be maybe uh, clear communications and open communication to everyone, mm -hmm. um, and everyone has a word. Uh, we can always share things and try to exchange feedback 
feedback and point of views, which is great. I think the culture is also a great thing where we mix True. so many nationalities and so many languages and we've been exposed to so many things and eventually we'll all benefit from that. And you probably got something better than the instant coffee we have. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <Yeah. laughs> uh, Richard, going back to, to your work, QHSE, for many people who don't know, what's that? Quality, health, safety and... Environment. Environment. That's okay, right. so that's that's. there's so many acronyms in business yeah. that there if you're is. not in the sector, sometimes you're not quite sure what they are. Um, you've got a big role driving that sustainability. Um, how do you collaborate with those different departments to make sure that your role, your objectives are, uh, you know, and make sure that they're seen and they're the forefront of the operations? So as Simon just mentioned, empowering people to make the correct choices and, and training is absolutely key with all of the stakeholders, especially, you know, uh, fellow employees, making them aware of what their impact, um, their daily impact is on the environment um, and allowing them to come along on the journey. So anything that we do, um, all of the calculations that we make, we're trying to make sure that our employees see it as well. Mm -hmm. And they feel empowered to become part of the journey. This can't be done alone. True. And um, Alpha Nero won't, save the world on its own but we feel a real responsibility to take a lead especially in the manufacturing industry to say look guys we can we can do more this is how we do it mm. come along with us yeah but it also be nice to that you work on a big shop front you know a makeup outfitting in the, in the middle of the mall and, and you and your staff can go yeah we did that that must still be pretty good <laughs> yeah yeah it's yeah. a nice feeling honestly when you walk down in dubai mall or pretty much anywhere you can see those massive store that we've been working on it's a nice feeling for sure so I, I, are you responsible whenever someone offers me the makeup and this perfume i don't really want is that kind of we're walking through <laughs> like, no, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some of them you do, i do walk past them and you, you think especially some of the retail fit outs on the makeup the design that goes into it when, when a client comes to you and says right uh, we've got some floor space in dubai mall they give you the brief how long is the turnaround between that brief and to then being physically set up in the mall well that, that it depends on the size of the product obviously but i would say on average it takes like somewhere between two to three months from yeah. the moment that we receive the brief mm -hmm. most of the brands they already have their design which is set because they work from architectural departments uh, back in the headquarters so things are pretty much set and they tend to roll out the same identity across each and every countries so we receive that design we work on it and then eventually we work on technical drinks we have a huge design department as well so we have our own designers and once the designer is set and approved by pretty much all the stakeholders then at that time we started construction and it takes somewhere around a month, a month and a half. And you, you got any challenging concepts which came through and you, they, they probably said that, listen, we need to make this fit out look like the interiors of, of the first class uh, section of uh, the Emirates airplane. Well, that could be. Yeah. Honestly, we, <laughs> yeah. honestly, we have no limit. We have really no limit in terms of construction, in terms of material. But again, it goes back to this environment subject that we're really mm -hmm. focused on right now, which is how can we reduce that impact? Because if you want to import, let's say, wallpaper from Italy or a specific wood from France or whatever it is, all together, bringing those materials plus the transformation yeah. process plus shipping the project afterward it is huge in terms of environmental impact. Um, is the biggest part of your job just, just trying to keep the clients... Um, uh, be uh, their expectations when they come in with a really elaborate our competitors are doing this is that a big part of your job this the people management of Leon, that's great but that's not workable it's managing the expectations but offering mm. practical solutions yeah. so that we can meet their expectations you know if we think it can be done in a better way but in a slightly different way that's why we're here that's right. why we have such experience in this industry and offering alternative materials or offering you know this is the the kind of manufacturing process that we've done mm -hmm. differently to improve efficiency or improve quality that's why we're here to be the the leaders in that area uh, what happens to the entire fit out once the purpose is served you know yesterday we were having a conversation about huge film sets you know once the filming is done they, they they're wrapped in they're thrown off or they go in the garbage bin uh, how is the environment impacted because of that in that case so we've partnered with um with a company called uh, Efaz, mm -hmm. who offer uh, full cycle solutions. Okay. So essentially, we can take any kind of uh, boutique or pop up, wh whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and have it completely repurposed. Whether it will go fully recycled wow. or it will go into refabrication. Um, maybe. Yeah, you can make chairs out of something or other. You know, mm -hmm. so many different um, options. Because uh, one of our real key things is having zero waste to landfill. 
is interesting. Well, look, we could talk to you all day. We're already running late from the four o'clock news because we, we've got you in here. Simon Hacker from Alpha Nero, Richard Payne from Alpha Nero. Congratulations on all of your success. Thank you. It's great to see you still part of that Dubai story of yeah, kicking thanks. goals uh, for the industry. If you want more details, website's the best way, alpha-nero.com. That's correct. Yep. You can find out uh, everything about the services, the skills, the team and the contacts. And we thank you again for coming thank in. Thank you so much. Kitchen, Thanks for having us. Kitchen Neil here on Talk.